Oh, I got a magic eight ball. Magic eight ball. And am I gonna find more vintage toys today? My name is Burke and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and it is Christmas Eve. And I'm hitting up five thrift stores today, baby. Yesterday we went to the mall and uh, did some mall shopping for vintage toys. But today is five stores, five thrift store Friday on Saturday. And we're gonna be hitting up Thrift Giant, two Thrift Giants, two Goody Wheels, and a Thrift City, baby. So we're gonna head in here, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed, and we're gonna pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today, and that on this Christmas Eve, I can find some epic vintage toy scores. Let's do this. Oh wow, look at that treasure chest. That is cool, man. I want $10 for it, but uh, I can put some of my vintage treasures in there. Yeah, it looks like they got a couple of little like guitars, like a banjo or something like that in there. All right, well, let's see what we can find on this show. That's a cute little, that's a cute little house, man. A little Fisher Price house. Looks like it might have some furniture in there too. Oh yeah, it does. It's got all kinds of furniture, man. That thing is super cute. Ooh, we got some big boxes here. Maybe we got some vintage toys. There's like a big green army man. And maybe War Machine. There's a Robin. I don't know who that guy is. Maybe a Green Lantern is he supposed to be? What's on top? Oh, there's another treasure chest. And some sort of vintage, like, Indian figure. There's like a six inch, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Fortnite figure. Oh, there's an Indiana Jones. And there's another Indiana Jones. Those are from like the 2007 era. There's some vintage cowboys in there. Let's go walk around the other side and see what else is on the other side. What's over here? Uh, I'm not really seeing much. Those two Indiana Jones figures are like the coolest thing in here. These these vintage uh, little plastic army men figure thingies, those are uh, pretty cool too. They're probably not worth the, I'm sure they want like 60, 60 bucks for this thing. Let me, uh, See if I can find a price on this. In the meantime, oh look, there's a splinter. There's like a Bebop in this bag, or this box. There's Black Panther. There could be more vintage TMNT in the middle of this box. Oh, it's just hard to say. Let's uh, kind of flip it around here. There's like a big Power Ranger. He looks like he's from the 90s. Because I have ones that look very similar to that. Oh, there's a part of a TMNT vehicle. Oh yeah, I actually just traded a guy for this exact thing. It has like a skull in the front of it. Oh yeah, there's the front end of it. Yeah, there could be there could be more vintage TMNT in the middle of it. There might not be. Oh man, yeah, they want forty bucks for the box. The thing is, like, I already have Splinter. Like, I already have these guys. But like, my my desire for vintage toys is like, oh, I want to get this. Oh, there's one right there. There's another TMT. So there's, there's like three. There's like three figures and a vehicle in there. But again, who knows what's in the middle of it. And here's the bottom of this box. There's a Hulk. I actually have that Hulk. I don't know if that's uh, just a die cast or possibly an old transformer. Uh, 
part of me wants to get this box just because I want to see what's in the middle of it. <sighs> oh, gosh, man. All right, guys, I've grabbed it for now. I got it in the cart just so when no one else takes it. But uh, I will make a final decision before I leave. But I'm leaning towards getting it because I think I could probably resell some of this stuff and get my money back on it and get some more vintage turtles that I can use for like trading for stuff I don't have, you know. But uh, all right, so we're going to get the box or put it in the cart for now. Let's see what else they got here. Oh, look at these old... This is the old electronic football game. These are the the players for it. Oh, is that the uh, yeah Green Bay Packers is in there? The Colts maybe. Looks like the Vikings, the 49ers, the Broncos. Hmm. I'm gonna grab it because it could be worth reselling these little pieces. There's some Chicago Bears, maybe some Pittsburgh Steelers. All right, let's put that here for now. And uh, look at this big old shark. <laughs> look at that thing. That's kind of cool. Oh, what's this down here? We got a, oh, Revelation. I actually don't have this chick. Just didn't want to buy her in the store. They only want $4.99 for her here. Hmm. I mean, she is part of the series, but I just don't really have a desire for her. Um, what's this over here? We got NHL Playmobil. This has got to be old, right? It's got to be from the 90s, I'm assuming. <clears throat> I'm looking for a uh, looking for a, a date on this thing. I don't really see anything, but uh, it looks old. The box kind of feels old, too. Oh, we got all these 12-inch uh, action figures over here. We got C-3PO with the red arm. Oh, my God, look. We got a Vader, but he's got part. <laughs> he's got part of his lightsaber. I never, ever, ever see him with a lightsaber at all. So to even see him with part of it is kind of wild. We got some stormtroopers. I think this one actually talks because he takes batteries. There's two of them. You know, that's a first order. Let's see. I thought this little button, this little breastplate. That's just pressing on his garage. Um, yeah, well, I already have this guy, so I don't really need him. We got four. We got Obi Wan. I don't know what that dude is. Here's another one. We got two of these guys. Got this little robot dude. Big old monster truck. And what's this? Teo? Mini utilities. That's a little RC car. Oh wow, look at this thing. Oh, that is cool. Oh, look at that. We got some of those. What are they called funny dropping glasses. The eyeballs all like bug out. I think I had a pair of those when I was a kid. Gosh, I wish, I wish this box wasn't 40 bucks because those are really old plastic cowboys and Indians. Yeah, oh, it sucks, man. They shoved them in there like that. Why couldn't they put them like in a little bag? All right, so we, we're definitely getting this bag. I was just looking these guys up, and uh, five Dallas Cowboys sold for $15. And I've got a shit ton of them. Not the Cowboys, but a shit ton of players here in general. So this should, I mean, I'm gonna get it for seven bucks. This should command a pretty big resale price. All right, guys, I did it. I ended up getting the big box. So I spent 40 bucks on it. Plus I got these vintage electronic football players for like seven bucks. It was like 50 bucks I spent total to find out if there's a treasure trove of vintage toys in the middle of it. And um, I figured there's enough stuff in here that I could at least sell. And I mean, just on this bag alone, I should be able to make enough money back to cover both purchases. 
But uh, the last time I picked up one of these big boxes, there was like a vintage LJN Rowdy Roddy Piper in the middle of it, and he still had his kilt. So I'm excited to see what kind of treasure trove is in here. Now, just so you guys know, we're not gonna be opening this box on this video, but we will do it on the next video and we'll go through it together. Hey, hey, it's uh, it's starting to look, it's starting to feel, what else? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Wait, it's beginning to look a lot like vintage Christmas. Everywhere I go. So hopefully we can find some more vintage toys. I'm pretty jazzed up over that. We know we got some vintage TMNT for sure. Three figures and, and a vehicle. We got some vintage electronic football players. That's freaking awesome. Like, and who knows what's in the metal of this box? Oh man, <laughs> I'm excited. All right, so let's put this in the car. Up next, we're gonna go, go, go hit up the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. Yeah, I'm all jazzed up. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully, you got some vintage toys too. That would be awesome. All right, let's see what we can find. All right, well, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Well, that's a... That's a Jurassic Park right there. So that is definitely vintage. Because I think they're all Jurassic World now. He's kind of cool. Oh, I think I'm going to grab this little dude. Just because it's... JP. What else we got in here? We got any more of these little dudes? He's colorful. I like him. But I'm not going to get him. Oh, what's this thing right here? Is this like Fred Flintstone's head? <laughs> what is this? Brio. Oh, it's like a little train set. Like a little tunnel a train goes through. Let's see. We got some IQ Builder. Who these guys are like Ken dolls, I guess. What's this? Oh, is this another? Oh, this is like a transformer. Oh, that's interesting. Or something. Yeah, I don't know exactly. I don't see like a transformer symbol on him, but he does like kind of fold out and transform into something. All right, we're gonna grab this guy too. He looks older, man. I don't think this is anything new. I could be wrong. That is interesting. There's no markings on him either. There's a Fisher Price cash register. That one's from 2015. And what do we have up here? Ah, oh, it's Jackie Robinson. It's missing the cover on it. Oh, it's like a Christmas ornament. I'll send it over to Keith, see if he wants it. All right, well, I kind of sort of transformed him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this tail is supposed to be up there like that. I was kind of looking for markings as I was pulling them apart, and I still don't see anything. He's just, uh, he's kind of unique. I've never seen one quite like that. I think I'll just be keeping him in my collection. He's pretty cool. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to get this dude. We'll just do our little show and tell here. So I'm going to get him. And, uh... Still kind of waiting to hear back from Keith on this. I'm not sure if he's going to want it just because this is missing, but if he does want it, I'll snag it for him. Oh, look, they got this complete series of Hogan's Heroes. wonder how much they want for that. I like it just to display it. I actually have one Hogan's Heroes toy, and it's like a little, like... It's like a bubble game that has like a little ball in it or something. You got to kind of like move the ball around and score different points. Kind of like a pinball sort of, but um, it's from Argentina. Uh, man, kind of want to get that. Oh, I got a magic eight ball, magic eight ball. And am I going to find more vintage toys today? to say 
very doubtful. <laughs> Screw you, Magic 8-Ball. All right, y'all. <laughs> I picked up some stuff. So get this. So the uh, the manager, he comes walking out. I said, hey, excuse me. I said, uh, I know your DVDs are $1.99, but when they come in a set like this, are they still $1.99? And he takes the set out of my hand and he looks through it and he counts the DVDs in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, he's like, it's probably gonna be a uh, dollar ninety nine per DVD. So like nine, there's like nine DVDs, right? And he's, I'm like thinking like, well, damn, that's gonna be like over twenty bucks for that box set. So he said, but. It's so not up to me, it's up to the person at the register how they ring it up. I said, oh, okay, so I took it up and the kid was up there and I said, hey, I said, it's a set. the DVDs say they're $1.99, but like when they're in a box set, is it still just $1.99? And he kind of looked at it and he goes, well, I don't see any verbiage or anything that says it's in a box set, it has to be $1.99 per DVD. So yeah, the whole thing's $1.99. So I got the whole thing for $1.99. Four dollars out the door for everything. How cool is that? Let's uh, let's do a little show and tell. All right, first up, the DVD set, Hogan's Heroes. I couldn't pass this up, man. I'm gonna put this on display in the bunker. My dad and I used to watch this show all the time when I was a kid. It was one of his favorite shows, and uh, it's got a lot of nostalgia for me. So look at that crew. Look at that motley crew down there. So I got the Hogan's Heroes DVD set. I also got this uh, this T Rex, this Transformer, but again, I don't see any markings on him that he's an actual Transformer. So maybe you guys can help me out. He's got something. There we go, a little fuzz on his teeth or something. But uh, yeah, maybe you guys can help me out and let me know exactly who this guy is. Uh, I have not. Uh, I have not. I have not seen one like this before. So I got this guy and just the fact that this says JP on it, I'm pretty sure this guy's from the nineties. I don't think they did like Jurassic Park figures beyond 2000. I could be wrong on that, but like, I think we got some vintage nineties in the house. All right, my friends, we are oh. here. <laughs> All right. Woo! Yeah, we are at the famous Thrift City, home of the world famous glass case. And we're about to head in there and see what kind of goodies they got. <laughs> Maybe more vintage toys. I need more. So yeah, hopefully we can score some more, man. That'd be cool. I'm on a little bit of a roll here today, baby. All right, so we're gonna go check out the shelves. We'll check that glass case. Maybe they'll have some bags finally. They haven't had bags in months. But yeah, let's see what we can find. All right, what do we got? We got some plushies hanging from a peg. Any goodies on the shelf? Wow, I can't believe this thing is still here. Nobody wants this thing. I almost bought it like two months ago and it's still here. Oh yeah, this uh, Fisher Price stagecoach is here. It's got this trap door like secret cannon. That's funny that a stagecoach would have a cannon in the back of it. That's cool. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Anything else down below? That thing's still here. Nobody's bought that. What do we have down here on this end? Storage Wars the Game. That's a good show though. I like watching that on whatever channel it's on, but I watch it all the time. All right, what's this? A Darth Vader mask. It's missing some pieces. Well, we got a Frisbee. Let's take a look at this Frisbee. Whammo. I think that might be vin a vintage Frisbee. I don't have a vintage Frisbee. I'm pretty sure Whammo was like a company from back in the day. All right, well, even though it's cool, it's not vintage. And the reason I know is because it actually has a website. There were no websites back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. So I guess Whammo is still making toys. That's cool. 
Looks like we got a vintage Monopoly game, though. This is definitely an older version. Hmm. Is there a year on it somewhere? Let's flip it around here. Parker Brothers. No, nothing there. Nothing there. It's definitely an older Monopoly game, though. I'm going to guess maybe the 70s or 80s. Maybe. I don't know. Could be even before that. Kind of makes me want to get it just so we can stay on our vintage roll, you know? Yeah, all the money inside. I think I'm going to get it. Monopoly's fun. Right, well, I had to take all this tape off it so I could see if the pieces are still there. And this little chunk of... See, I hate that when they tape it, like that part there. Right? But that part wouldn't be on display anyway. Let's uh, still have one more piece of tape here. Oh, yeah, there's like another piece of tape. Give me a second. I got to get this one off, too. All right, well, now we got it all off. Now let's take a look inside and see if the pieces are here. So the board is intact. At least it's not like split down the middle, although it does look a little fragile. Okay, so we got the board. Uh, hey, at least the money is in proper order here. Okay, we got some 20s, some 500s. 50s, 20s. All right, so they're not exactly like an order order, but at least it's organized. All right, let's take a look. Let's move this piece off. So we got that. We got the instructions. I'll have to count the cards just to make sure those are all there. Um, actually, you know what? This one, this one might be from 1961 because that's the last copyright date on that. Wow. Okay. And then we got the hat, the dog, the thumbnail. We got the shoe. We got the car, which I always like being the, I like to be in the car, the dog, the horseman. And that was about it. <laughs> Those were my favorites. Oh, here's an iron. So we got the iron. I think all the pieces are there. Um, I just need to like kind of count up the houses and shit like that and see if we got enough. If everything's there, I'll definitely buy it because it's from 1961. Holy cow. Yeah, there's some stuff under there. All right, let me count this up. All right, everything is there. All the money's there. We got 27 real estate cards, 32 houses. We got 12 hotels, eight game pieces, 32 chance cards, 16 each. Actually, I shouldn't say it's everything's there. The only thing we're missing is one die that's easily replaceable though so all right we got that plus we got the instructions we're set we're gonna get us a vintage monopoly game and we're gonna get it for just two dollars and 99 cents what did i say was it 1961 or 1967 i don't know one of the two it's from the 60s that's all that matters all right kids you know what time it is it's time to check the glass case all right, anything good in here today? Nothing here. That little die-cast sports car is kind of cool. And nothing in this one either. It's beginning to look a lot like vintage Christmas everywhere I go. <laughs> yeah, just keep it on. The mind, right? What we think about is what we bring about. Our innermost dominant thought becomes our outermost tangible reality. Also, I picked up a little Christmas gift for Nicole. So we'll jump in the car. We were not gonna do a show and tell with the Monopoly. We already looked at it. But uh, I'll show you what I picked her up for Christmas. What I'm gonna do, actually I'll explain it in the car. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so Nicole loves gingerbread houses, gingerbread people. That sort of thing. So I saw this, this little ceramic plate, and I actually have like a wad of cash 
I'm giving her for Christmas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the cash. I'm going to put the cash on the plate. I'm going to serve her some cash on a gingerbread platter. And uh, rather than just giving her money in an envelope, I'm just going to lay the cash in the or the envelope with the cash in it on the gingerbread plate here. And then I'm going to wrap it all up and give it to her. So when she opens it, she'll have this cute little gingerbread plate plus her kiggity cash to go buy whatever she wants. I've kind of learned over the years that my taste and her taste is a little different. And uh, it's best to just give her some cash and let her get what she wants. So she'll probably invest it into some NFTs or something like that. She's real big into that too. But anyway... Yeah, so this is what I got, Nicole, for Christmas. Because, you know, I'm a big spender, you know. Hey, it's the thought that counts, right? And it's, you know, it's the thought and the uh, the uniqueness of how I'm going to give her her cash. <laughs> so, all right, up next, we're going to head on over to Thrifty, Old Thrifty Pants, see what kind of goodies they got, and then we're going to finish strong over at Goodwill. I feel like we're going to still continue to get some vintage toys so let's head that way and see what we can get. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at Thrift Giant on Mill Street. I gotta admit, I haven't found anything in here in quite a while, but I feel like we're on a roll today, you know? So I feel like we're gonna get something really cool. I'm excited, I hope you're excited too. I got some boxes. I'd like to maybe see that, that second box down. All right, so what do we got in here? Pterodactyl, got some dinos. Oops. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in there. All right, well, let's see. What do we got here on these shelves? What's this? Star Wars. Oh, wow. In the box still. Dang, Rogue One. Now, I sold one of these outside of the box for like 30 bucks. They only want $12.91 for it. I think I might grab that. That is pretty sweet. Oh, let's look, it's Nerf as well. That would probably be worth getting. I don't know if the figure is in there or not. Usually the figure is displayed right here. I'm assuming this box was... Yeah, let's let's open it and see. All right, so it is missing the figure, but it's never been out of the... The ship has never been out of the box. All right, well, here's the deal. Um, if they had the figure, these things are selling in the box for about 45 to 50 bucks, upwards of 60 in some cases. It doesn't have the figure. It's probably worth $30, 35 maybe. I sold a loose one for 30, just the ship itself, loose, no box. But the box is, you know, it's got some damage and stuff like that. It's not in the best shape. I'm just thinking this would probably be a hassle to ship as well for as like big as it is you know i guess that you could always wrap it like and just use this box itself and wrap it like in like uh you know like brown paper bag paper that you get at the grocery store put a label on it and ship it out hmm it's cool but do i really want to get it you know I had that figure i would definitely snag it decisions decisions what we got down here looks like we got a a buzz lightyear a lightyear from the new movie it's the first time i've seen one of these guys in the stores we're so used to seeing regular buzz i bet we start seeing a lot more of him too in the future well this is like a razorbacks uh it's like a headpiece or something it's like a hat i think yeah, look at that. It's a hat. <laughs> That's funny. I wonder if uh, wonder if it's worth anything. I'll have to have to investigate. Oh, check that out. 
still in the box, the Pathfinder 22 1200. It's pretty sweet. Oh, well, we got a plushy Spider Man dropping him on the floor here. Yeah, your friendly neighborhood Spider Man. And we got this Lego Ninja plush. What's down here? We got a Grogu Disney Princess Cash Register. All right, guys. I ended up getting the Rogue One Rebel U-Wing Fighter, and uh, I'm gonna put it up for auction on my whatnot that I'm gonna have here. I think at the end of the year, like I think New Year's Eve or something. I'm gonna have a whatnot Star Wars themed auction. So if you uh, want to join in i got a lot of like star wars from early 2000s i'm going to be auctioning off um clone war stuff some episode one stuff but mostly clone wars and this and maybe some other goodies so if you want to attend that auction and pick up some good stuff at good prices there's a link in the comments below and you can click on that and you can sign up for whatnot through my link and they're going to give you ten dollars $10 credit that you can apply towards your purchase. So for example, if you ended up getting that thing for 20 bucks, Whatnot is gonna give you $10 to put towards it. How cool is that? So just sign up with my link in the comments below. Up next, our final destination, the Goody Wheel. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. Last stop of the day, the Goody Wheel. We're gonna finish strong, boys and girls. We've scored at every store today. This is an awesome trip. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? I think we're about to find something epic, my friends. All right, let's head in here and see what they got. All right, what do they got? Some PS3 Call of Duty, Fable 3, eh. Not seeing anything I want. There's a vintage Coke bottle over there. That's cool. All right, well, here we go. Oh, look at this. Got some roller skating MLP, I think. I don't know, well, maybe not. I don't know if that's my little pony or not. It kind of looks like it, but kind of not. Well, they got a lot of stuff on the shelves. Maybe we'll find something cool in here. What's this? Oh, it's, uh, it's like made out of wood. Oh, it's like made out of wood and they got like decal stickers on it. What's this thing? Oh, I guess that's what you make that out of. I got a Blue Angels. It's really beat though. What's this under here? Yeah. It's getting crazy over here. <laughs> well, look at that thing. What's that say on the side of it? Dragonfly M5. Wow, this. We need to turn this barn off, man. How do we turn this thing off? Oh my god. It's crazy like a barnyard over here. Oh my god. All right. All right. <laughs> finally, finally. This thing is cool. The Dragonfly M5R. I guess maybe it makes sound. It's got a little button here. But the batteries must not be working in it. I'm kind of half tempted to get it because it's so, they want four bucks for it though, damn. It's like a dollar ninety nine toy. All right, well we'll consider this. I'll put it up here for right now. What do we got here? Oh, some cars, but I'll put it up here. It's kind of kind of cool. I kind of like it. All right, so what else we got? I wonder if our friend is here, Thomas, old, old Big T. Is he, is he still here? Did somebody buy him? I guess we'll find out pretty soon.
in there. This is cool. I've got one of these. Right, what's down here? Cabbage Patch Baby. Some sort of dinosaur. Toy truck. And, you know, I actually had this thing at one point in time. It made a pretty cool display piece. I ended up getting rid of it. I think I sold it or I might have even donated it back. But it reminds me of those aliens on uh, The Simpsons. That's one of the reasons why I got it in the first place. Oh, here's a Sentinel-1 guy, I think. He's cool. This probably goes to him or something. All right. Well, you know what? I don't see Big T around here anywhere. So somebody may have bought him. Or they may have just gotten rid of him. He might have been too, too risque. Just uh, moving this stuff out of the way just in case I see him under here somewhere. All right. So we're still thinking about getting this. But let's see what's in Plushville over here. Any cool plushies? My Pet Monster, ALF, anything like that, E.T. All right, well guys, I don't think we're gonna find anything here today. The only possibility really is this little mouse. Oh, it's from uh, Cinderella, right? Then we got Dumbo and then we got Daisy Duck. But uh, the only possibility is maybe, maybe this thing right here. Still thinking about it. Damn, look at this thing. Holy cow, that's awesome. Two and a half or five miles per hour. Two speeds plus reverse, two and a half or five miles per hour. Man. At five miles per hour, that kid would be flying through the yard. That thing is cool, man. That is awesome. I would have loved to have had that as a kid. Oh, they got a cart of stuff here, but I don't really see anything I would be looking for. What's over here on this one? Any goodies in this one? Mm, no. All right, guys. Well, last story of the day, we got busted. But man, did we have an epic adventure. We got some awesome stuff today and I'm super excited to go through that big box with you. So stay tuned for the next video because we'll be rummaging through it together and seeing what kind of vintage goodness we can pull out of it. Hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out, it helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, Hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way in over 600 videos. You can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.